What's up guys? Uh, I just wanted to do a video on a very important process, what I call sketching. Sketch before you uh, do your photo shoots or whenever you get a good idea. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I do. Uh, basically whenever I, whenever I watch a movie or um, just like driving, I'll, usually that's when my ideas come to me and I'll sketch them down real quick or I'll log them somehow because uh, if I wait too long then I'll forget about that idea and I won't be able to refer back to it. So I'll show you the one that I have for the home. It's uh, just a rough sketchbook full of like uh, sketches. So what I do is here's the very first one that I did. Um, but basically is Keep track of them, make a really, really rough sketch of what the idea is, write some keywords in here, kind of what the idea is, what the prop is. Um, these are really old too. But, uh, so these will give you a good idea of kind of what maybe you might want to do for another shoot later or uh, when you're running out of inspiration. You can always turn to this and think of like, wow, I remember that one. I want to do the chocolate syrup one. Or I want to do a girl that looks like she's crawling out of a box. So yeah, here's all the sketches. Just do tons and tons of sketches. This one, you might recognize that one. So a lot of these, like when I... Um, say I do a photo shoot on the weekends, I will go through this and I'll have the model in mind and what, what she looks like, all that stuff, the location, and just go through these sketches and see if I can um, jot down any ideas or concepts that would work for her or him or whoever. So that's this one. Um, also, you want to keep one for when you're driving around. I'll show you that one. Because this one, you can't really, you have to be really rough with it because you're kind of, you got to do it quick and you got to watch the road too. I don't recommend driving while sketching. But um, these are some ideas. Just a girl with mittens on and big boots and she's in a bikini. She's on the beach. I'm going to call it cold feet. Just like really, really rough. This one I did. It's called talking to myself with 10 cans. Just some really rough uh, ideas laid out so you can refer to them later. This one is a girl covered in mud and then someone writes in her skin, wash me. So yeah, just, but um, yeah, it's a good idea to jot down all your things. This one, this sketchbook, I use a, it's a waterproof ink, just in case uh, it gets wet or something. I don't want it to ruin all the pictures. So there's that, which leads us to storyboarding. So I'll show you. It starts with an idea from your sketchbook, and then you go through. So, my idea for uh, most recent shoot was a. Uh, it's called self-conscious, but basically it's one girl spread out in eleven different shots or nine or whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I use one for the background and maybe a foreground. But um, basically, this is the idea from the sketchbook. Now you want to do storyboarding. Because when you get on location, you got to worry about the weather, your camera, the model, people walking around you. So the best thing to do when you don't want to like have hiccups and you want to get your concept down perfect, just make a storyboard. It's like a roadmap to what you want to do and where you want to go with this shoot. And it'll, it'll make it quick. And you won't forget, you won't get into Photoshop and you won't say, oh, crap, I forgot that last shot where I can 
what will help me blend stuff together. So go with your main sketch right here and then just jot down every single shot you want to take. That way you don't forget which one to take. So this one was nothing. So just I set up the tripod, took a picture of just the sky and the grass and everything. And we actually uh, set up points where she was going to stand. Everything was pre-measured and all that. So that way when we shoot, I can just do it real rapid and real quick. That way I don't have to worry about like the lighting changing and stuff like that. So I did one with nobody in it, one with just the model, one with the uh, model on the left holding the whiteboard in the center, center, and then the right side. And then I brought her closer to the light and I had her look various different ways for the eyeball shots so I could edit it onto the whiteboard. And then at the end I took another one with nobody in it just in case the variation of lighting was different or something which it changes really fast. Every photo shoot I do, I do like a little sketch, tear it out of my notebook, and then um, take it with me. It's my roadmap to what I want to do. And I pick out the most important ones, do those first, and then uh, if I have time I can do some other ones too. And then sneak in like portrait shots or something like that in between. Okay. Let's just show you some real quick, some other shoots. Here's one, you might recognize that. Um, I also list like little props that I, so I don't forget. Um, I actually didn't use milk, but brought all my coral, stacked it on her head, and then got the shot. Put my reflector on the right, or the left. This may seem all planned out, but it just, gives me a better idea of where I want to go with the shoot. You don't have to do everything exactly. It's just uh, to remind you of your idea that you wanted to do. And I like things to be natural too, but um, I also have things in my head that I want to get out onto the uh, photo. So anyway, that's it.